Okay, guys, we are back for menu number two of this 24 ration series from 2018. So menu number two, we have beef shredded in barbecue sauce. Again, this is by the Sopaco Company. So let's check out what we got inside this thing. All right, let's bust up on this peelable seal. I was I was watching Wandering Marine Veteran. He was like, "How is how can you not open up these peelables?" Well, when you get fifty and you get arthritis, you will find you will find out. They're so easy to open. Yeah, most of the time they are, but man, when arthritis kicks in, no sir. It's always nice we get the double packaging again, like last time. We discovered that this was packaged by Ameriqual for the Sopaco Company, which that is actually a pretty common practice. And I think uh, several months ago, Old Smokey did a live stream. It turned out that it was an Ameriqual packed ration produced for Sopaco in a warning bag. That one was absolutely awesome. You see some date codes right off the bat. 8061, some tortillas, hot beverage bag. FRH. We have our accessory packet. Cheese spread with jopalinos or jalapenos. Black beans and seasoned sauce. Spoon. Barbecue sauce. Tropical bunch beverage base powder. Chocolate chip cookie, trans fat free. And this is our shredded beef and barbecue sauce. And here's the nutrition facts for the black beans in seasoned sauce. And you can see down here it is packed for Sopaco by Ameriqual, most likely. And the same thing with this. See, again, and nutrition facts and ingredients. And this is accessory packet C. We have 8074, 74th day. Gum. Splenda, moist towelette, uh, coffee creamer, iodized salt, coffee, and TP. And let's get this stuff heated up and the drinks made. Yeah, this one is totally probably the worst drink. It sticks to your spoon, gets all funky, and it just does not mix well with water. And like I said in the last ration, I'm not going to use this heater. I'm going to use one of these. You can see that is a heck of a pad. That thing will really work. Stick it right there on the bottom, kind of flat, kind of like how the Japanese do it. And I'm just going to pour some water in here, get it activated, and toss everything else in. And just so you can see what I'm chucking in real quick, I'm doing my tortillas, beans, the shredded beef, and I am putting in this cheese. Because I have no crackers or anything to use it with. And if you use one of these, you can see it has 120 to 150 mil, and it even has a nice fill line for the package. Hold it up. Dump in my water. And there's only one other thing to put on the tray, and that's the cookie. Oh, that looks pretty yummy. 
Man, I gotta tell you, man, that barrel cook heating element works awesome. <laughs> these things work really good too. I, I mean, I don't, I don't get paid by these guys or anything, but yeah, the at least these heating elements are freaking awesome. Just so you can see, it's been ten minutes, man, and this thing is still mega steaming. All right, now time to fish this stuff out of here, man. It is, <laughs> it is still incredibly toasty. I think the hardest bit is going to find, be finding the cheese. Oh, man. All right, now I gave these all a quick little wipe to make them hopefully a little easier to open up. There's the black beans and spice sauce. Man, this thing is bloody hot. Woo! And there's the barbecue beef. And we got these tortillas. Throw that away. They're nice, soft, and pliable, just the way how we want it. It's part of the benefits of heating this stuff up. Now the cheese. The cheese is very liquidy but it will slowly solidify again exactly how you want it so we're going to put this stuff right onto the cheese and you'll actually uh, watch it solidify as it gets exposed to the air temperature no, I don't want all of that oil coming out of there I want it to just mix congeal Because like any good taco or anything like that, you're going to get these oils. And they just mix and embed with everything else to make it, oh, so good. And just while I've got it nice and warm, I'm going to grab some of this. Stick it in this one. And a little bit in here. as well as some of the beans. We'll just let that do its thing, just sit there for a minute, kind of marinate. And while it's doing that, and you might hear Sherman digging behind me, I'm going to open up some of this barbecue sauce and we'll put some on this one over here. Oh, oh man. Yeah, I think this is gonna be good. Well, let's give this a taste before it all starts cooling down. This is the shredded beef with barbecue. And it does have some nice chunks of meat in here. Of course, it is shredded beyond all belief. But we'll give that a go on its own. This has a very nice flavor. It is barbecue-y, a little oily, but I'll list some ingredients down there on the bottom, let you know what's inside of it. And of course, you could always soup this stuff up. This is probably one of my favorite spices for a ration. It is onion herb. And it doesn't have any extra sodium. And again, if you wanted to zap it up with some heat, some red pepper. In me with tacos, I love having a little bit of lime. And thanks to my buddy John, I've got some of this lime seasoning that I will probably try out on one of these. Now, these black beans and spices, this has a nice little zing to it, too. And I think this really goes well together. Just need a crunch component that isn't necessarily a cookie. Yep, nice and spicy. Little bit of kick, just the slightest little bit of kick. I think there's some cayenne in here. And that might be a good place to put some of this. And I'll put just a little right over there give us some of this little onion and herb good kicky flavor like i said i put this stuff on eggs everything it is absolutely awesome definitely does it add so much flavor you get that nice little onion kind of bite in there oh man good stuff well i'm not going to screw around anymore it still is a little liquidy. Ordinarily, if you let that sit 
especially if it's a little cooler out, all of them oils will just kind of solidify up, be good to go. I just don't want to wait until this tortilla gets cold again. So let's give that a try. Mmm. <laughs> Yum. That is good. You get a little bit of that burn from that jalapeno, just that little hint of cheese. And I did put a generous dollop of this barbecue sauce on here. I am a total fan of that. But the, the beef actually has texture. It has bite. It has what you expect out of meat instead of just being something processed. It, this is this is good. This <laughs> I, I don't know if I've had this menu before. At least it's been a while if I had. But this is, wow, this is pretty good. Mmm. If this thing had a pack of crackers or cheeses just for a crunch component, or even even better, man, corn nuts would be perfect for this ration. That would be awesome. Now we'll try a little bit of this with, of course, this one has the beans in it. That's really good, too, man. You get the oils just have mixed everything together, have infused all of those flavors. I'm going to try to add just a little bit of this lime. See how that... Oh, oh, my God. Well, I'm going to add a lot of bit of this lime. Wow, that is freaking... Uh, you think I got enough on there? Hmm. Well, you only live once, as they say. That was a lot of lime. That's too much lime. But it is good. Definitely give it that citrus flavor. Man, I might not have any just left to take a picture of at the end of my vid. Maybe what we'll do, we'll add a little bit of this red pepper. See if it will kind of damp that acidity. No, that's going to give it a nice little heat. Oh, yeah, that gives it a nice little burn in there, too. Man, pretty good. Tropical punch. Looks like some of them little bits that have congealed at the top have kind of absorbed some water. I used ice cold water this time. That did seem to make a difference when it's room temp. Eh, I'm just not a fan of this particular beverage or the tropical punch, obviously. Well, what else do we have? I've got coffee and I've got gum. And I'm going to use this while I edit this video. But it is just simply... Little briquettes. It has little bits of xylitol in it to help clean your teeth, freshen your breath for dental care. And of course, some coffee. Mm. And it's just black coffee. I didn't put anything in it. I would say without a doubt that heating element rocks. It's the best one I've used so far. I forgot, man, the cookie. What am I doing, man? I'm getting ready to end the video. I have not eaten part of the best part. Yep, nice and crunchy, good chocolatey bits. And you can also use this to dunk into your coffee to soften it a little bit. Mmm. Oh. That works really good. That just softens that cooking, kind of melts this chocolate just a little bit. So it's kind of a gooey, creamy, yummy chocolatey. Man, good stuff. Well, everybody, this was menu two. Beef shredded in barbecue sauce. It's not just menu two, but it is number two of our series, counting from MRE number one to menu 24. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I will see you all on my next review. Bye.